Hello guys, welcome to my channel Take Action ZR and today we will make an upgrade uh, to OpenWRT we will go <coughs> from uh, snapshot version to the final version here we, we write I have to say it's for the CADI WR3000H okay and we write here CADI WR3000H open WRT firmware selector <coughs> I will give you the link in the description so do not worry we go here I will have this link to the description okay and here we write our model Okay, it's for uh, this model. Okay, be sure uh, this guide is for this model. Okay, I will. I will. Uh, I'm not responsible if you break uh, your device. It's only for this device. So we press here and we see that uh, here we have a final version. It's a uh, 24.10.2. Right now, uh, in my device, it runs uh, the snapshot version. So, I have already upgraded to the snapshot OpenWRT from uh, the stock firmware of uh, the Caddy. So, if you are still on, uh, on the uh, stock uh, firmware, you have uh, to know how to upgrade to OpenWRT. Uh, in my channel, Take Action ZR, there are uh, some guides that will guide you through the process to upgrade from uh, stock firmware to OpenWRT. It's very easy. I have some videos there. You can check them. And uh, please, if you like them, uh, press like and subscribe and uh, make a share so other people can do the same process uh, like you. Okay, so... Uh, we choose this firmware which is the stable f uh, latest release so we press here and we download this uh, file I have already downloaded it's here so I will not download it again and I will go to the caddy it's the snapshot as I have already already told you before so we'll go here system backup flash firmware and if you are already in uh, openwrt make a download backup in your computer so you can have uh, a backup but i warn you that if you are on the snapshot this file will not be uh, the right one let's say the settings because we go from snapshot to stable release so it's not very important but anyway please uh, make a backup you must remember let's say the if you make a protocol ppp over ethernet connection uh, your username and password to the isp okay that's very important if you make a ppp over ethernet connection and uh, next uh, procedure before you proceed is to have the ready the, the name of the Wi-Fi and the password um, and uh, I recommend uh, to disconnect all uh, the LAN cables behind uh, the router and uh, please leave only the LAN cable which is connected to your PC right now before I proceed to flash uh, this image I will disconnect the LAN cable um, all the LAN cables behind the router and I will leave only the LAN cable which goes to my PC now that I have disconnected the cable I will flash the image and it says browse for the file and here is the image in this folder which I have downloaded the, the stable release and here it's the backup I made uh, for uh, the snapshot version, but I will not need it, uh, just in case. Okay, 
I will select this file, open, and I press upload. Here it says keep settings and retain the current configuration. Please uncheck this if you are coming from a snapshot release to a stable release because there are totally different versions. OK, and uh, leave everything unchecked and press continue. Here it says some information. OK, we press continue. And here the process is going on and uh, it says do not power off the device. So please wait. The lights are flashing and uh, the procedure has uh, started and have already finished. So it reboots. Here the menu is stuck because uh, the router has uh, booted. And when, yes, here it is. I press login without password because everything has been resetted. Okay. And uh, let's see to the overview. Here it's the model and here it's the firmware version. So uh, everything has been uh, installed correctly. This is the version we wanted. It's the final stable release. And I, I was, uh, I was uh, waiting uh, two months uh, for this router to install this firmware. So I'm very happy for it. And now I will make some settings here. Uh, it's the so if you are if you are installing OpenWRT, I suppose you know how to do it. Okay. Okay. Uh, I will make a PPP over a third connection. That's another story. Uh, this video was only how to upgrade from snapshot to stable release. If you want uh, to know other details about how to do PPP over Ethernet, etc., please uh, like, subscribe this video and go to my channel, which is Take Action GR, and uh, see the other guides. Okay, thank you very much. Have a nice day. Please like and subscribe. Bye.